Hi here, Filter. A line of code exists that would end your entire career. I tried it. Seven years ago, I entered this line consisting of two words and seven characters in a macOS terminal window. And about two hours later, my client, or to be specific, a CEO of respectable, successful health and fitness organization, was already selling rubber penises made out of recycled bus tires to 4,000 of company's clients. This is a story about how this happened and how to make sure this doesn't happen to you, or make sure it does if you're planning on exiting the profession in a spectacular way. The line I entered is used by millions of developers across the world hundreds of times a day, and if you're a serious developer, you should use it too. The line is a git push. Those of you who know what it is will probably have more questions than answers now, but trust me, it's very simple and it's to do with a monkey. And those of you who don't know what it is, this line of code is used by developers to systematically upload the source code during development, allowing other developers to collaborate on it easily and see all the development history. So there are two ways that I know of how you can use this line to end your career. Both are stupid. One of them I tried. The stupid way, which I'm proud to say I have not yet tried, involves certain unspecified manipulations with a pig. Let's imagine the company you are working with. Swine Fiddler and, and Sons is developing a new, one of a kind, state of the art, autonomous set of swine fiddling test, uh, tentacles. And they don't want their competitive company, Gold Fondler and Sons, to know anything about it, let alone to see how exactly it's programmed to fiddle with the subject of interest. They even made you sign a non disclosure agreement, where Clause 1366 states that if you break the agreement, and tell anyone about their revolutionary, earth shattering invention for the foreseeable future, and regardless of the gender, you will be legally obligated to name all of your newborn children Duncan. <clears throat> and then, as luck would have it, one evening, after a glass of cider, uh, cognac, uh, whiskey, hummus, <clears throat> or and being blinded by the love to a striking woman, you accidentally misread the word public in the words public repository on GitHub and type git push, which makes all the code public and instantaneously available not only to goat fondler and sons, but also horse grabber and nuns, slow slapper and buns, irrelevant puns, father of mother and sisters, mother of god and daughters, daughters of Islam, and stepmother's brother and moms, effectively depriving yourself from your shining career and providing endless confusion with your family of five Duncans for the years to come. And just setting up a private repository would have saved you from all that. But that's stupid, right? I'm not that stupid. I'm so what was this that I pushed, and any other developer can push, that would have this spectacular career-ending effect? <sighs> Keys. Keys from the leap here are 9800 G6 4000 horsepower heavy mining excavator, which resulted in radical Jehovah's Witnesses disguised as cranes, taking possession of a tent leveling a local Scientology communal church of holy baptism, together with Cesare Ivor's impersonator in it, dressed inconveniently as a watermelon. No, the keys from the bloody chimp, the chip, chip, the mail, mail, mail chimp, the marketing email automation platform. A lot of things have become clear to me over the past seven years since the incident. But why in the God's name one calls a marketing email automation platform a mail chimp is not one of them. Anyway, this was a sunny summer day. I just finished vacuuming a cat, washed up with a squirrel, watered the cactus, and decided it was time to switch to the hail chimp integration. I entered the rail chimp API keys directly into the code, typed git push, pushing it all to the public git repository, and happily went back to shaving a kiwi. In about two hours, I get an email from the head of marketing yeah, saying Someone just bloody sent 4,000 emails to 4,000 of our f***ing customers on behalf of the CEO because of your mother f***ing incompetent integration you blistering me. I mean, it actually said, hi Philip, we hope you're alright. 4,000 spam emails were just delivered to our customers on behalf of the CEO. We were wondering if this could be because of the recent integration. But having lived in the UK for five years, I immediately translated it from the British English to the normal one. The thing with the Quail Chimp private API key is that once unlawful individuals obtained it, they can send thousands of emails on behalf of you as the Pale Chimp account owner, using all your official from addresses you're using in your stale Chimp account. One spiritual woman got an inflatable priest sold to her like this fraudulently. She was hoping to get it for free. What I also didn't know at that time that bots existed that scraped repositories for API keys. That's why it all happened so quickly. But how do you prevent this from happening? Well, professional developers never enter API keys directly in the code. They use special files called .env that never get pushed to a repository. They are just safely hosted on the website and all the API calls happen on the server, which only renders the result of the call in the browser. Horrifying this incident was, it did not cost me my career, as I swiftly changed my name to Turnip Propaganda and moved to Perdovich which nobody knows where or even what this is. No, the client just stopped working with me for seven years. 
After seven years they returned though. Taking family members hostage can do miracles. I hope that this video helps you keep these things in mind and make sure you provide yourself with happy and calm retirement time, not surrounded by the family of countless Duncans. Thank you very much for watching, like it if you liked it, this really helps the channel. Subscribe if you haven't, hit the bell if you haven't, don't forget to look up and see you soon.